Criminals and medical masks are tearing through local businesses, adding insult to injury for people already struggling in this tough time. News 4 investigator Lauren Craig Traeger is crunching the crime numbers for us. She's live at a car dealership that's been targeted. Lauren, experts say the trend could continue. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And Samantha, before the coronavirus crisis, we might have expected to see burglars or robbers wearing one of these, a ski mask to disguise their identity. Now they're wearing these medical masks, and that has businesses I talked to so angry. With medical masks on their faces, blue gloves on their hands, close to a dozen men busted through glass and ransacked this auto dealership in St. John, making their escape with important papers and their vehicle. It made us feel angry that firstly they are doing this when we're just trying to stay afloat and trying to service our community. St. Peter's police too say a gun store was hit, the culprit wearing a face covering and blue medical gloves. It's not a surprise to me because it's going on around the country uh, on both coasts. Former St. Louis County Police Chief and Council Member Tim Fitch says criminals seek opportunities and the COVID-19 crisis is a big one. He expects an increase in business break-ins. Anything that could be sold quickly, um, anything that could be converted to cash quickly. So we crunch the numbers. So far, St. Louis police are seeing about a 20% increase in business burglaries and break-ins compared to the same time last year. But St. Louis County is seeing an uptick only in non-forced entries. Those are kind of what you would usually term as like insider issues. Uh, it was probably an inside person that did it. But Fitch says even more worrisome, a potential increase in domestic violence. It amazed me the number of people buying alcohol. So if you have a lot of drinking going on at home, you're going to see those domestic violence issues increase. Now this business here on Manchester and Baldwin, one of many that has been hit by thieves recently, two, two cars stolen from this area. A spokesperson for the county police department tells me they are still doing business checks. They're working diligently to prevent and address crime. And they say their manpower is strong, but reports out of New York City, for example, have seen an increase of 75% in business break-ins. Some people attributing that to the release of inmates from jails in that area. Certainly will continue to track crime here in our area. Reporting live in Baldwin, Lauren Traeger, News 4.